Hey guys, how you doing? Cancers, let's see what you and your person has going on for the week. Let's see. I just want to say thank you guys for all the love and support. Um, to everybody that's coming back, welcome to all the new subscribers. What's up? What's up? Um, this is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's not going to resonate for everybody. If you want a personal reading, that information is in the description box. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Like the video. It sends an energetic donation to me. Y'all, let's go. My Cancer, I have a lot of Cancer in my chart. My Venus is in Cancer. Um, so let's see, let's see what the Cancers got going on, Spirit, with their person for this week. Let's see what's going on, Spirit. What's going on with the Cancers? Damn, um, Pisces just got this, Cancer. Pisces just got this, okay. Yeah, you, you're loving, you love the fuck out of somebody, but for some reason, her face is sticking out to me, which it normally doesn't. It's like she's lost in thought, um, almost like a Mona Lisa face, like she's hurting, but she's trying to put on a poker face, like something isn't bothering her, knowing um, how much she is yearning for somebody that she loves very, very much. Um, I feel like this person, it's you, you have a lot of love to give, you're wanting somebody to take action towards you, Cancer. Um, but it's like you're really trying to put on a brave face and act like something isn't bothering you, okay? I feel like your person could be just out kind of like partying it up, um, being out in the, out, but spirit is about to start blessing you, Cancer, with some new opportunities. I feel like you might be starting up a business, you could be starting up, um, or you could be getting a promotion here pretty soon that you're finding out about. And the money is about to start rolling in for you, Cancer, completely. Look, spirit, come through. Bottom of the deck, cornucopia. That's pure bliss, pure happiness, right? Um, but I feel like there is somebody that you love very much. You're wanting to take action towards you. But they're just kind of like not... It, it just seems like this person would rather party and spend time with their friends and be out in the streets, you know, like this person's like for the streets, <laughs> you know, rather than be with you. And it's you're kind of trying to put on a brave face like this isn't hurting you. This isn't bothering you. Um, this person, you know, could have chose a party life over commitment. But it's like this person, it, it really is bothering you. OK, um, but I feel like your inner voice is telling like you're something your intuition is telling you spirit wants you to have faith in this situation okay um i didn't i didn't ask so let's see cancer side spirit cancer side spirit discipline so you're really trying to discipline yourself when it comes to this you're trying not to overthink you're trying not to make up scenarios in your head you're not you're trying not to like control the situation you're trying not to go off on a motherfucker like you really want to like bring this person a new asshole you want to go off on them you want to speak your mind you're really trying to discipline yourself right now you're really trying to um you don't know, not go off on this person Okay, I feel like this person could be doing bad financially, but they are also like trying to get their money together. But it's like they're blown, like they be out blowing it, you know, like this person's partying, but they broke as fuck. And you're like, you could be at home, you could be with me, like everything's good. But um, this person, it's hard for this person like to show like empathy. Like if you were to like tell this person how you feel and stuff, you feel like this person would be like blow it off or act like you're just tripping or you're overthinking or whatever. See, spirit come through. This person will be denying it, be in denial about what they're doing. Um, but you, you're worried. You're worried as fuck. Like, you're worried that this person might not want you. You're worried that this person is moving on. Because it's like you're mirroring one another. It's like you're putting on a brave face like this isn't bothering you. And they're putting on a brave face like this isn't bothering you. When deep down inside, this person is hurting just like you are. Um... And they're trying to deny how much they love you, how much they value you. It's like this person is hiding their emotions when deep down inside they value you so much. They love you so much. They hold you at such a high standard. But for some reason, this person is hiding that they're denying how much they love you. And they're just trying to put, you know, act like they don't care. 
you know, and it's bothering you. But Spirit is saying stop worrying because it's not going to change an outcome. Have patience. Spirit come through. Divine timing is working itself out in this connection, okay? Let's see. Yeah, see, you out here, you chasing your money. You you working on, on these blessings. I'm telling you, you have a promotion coming in. But it's like this person's at the point you make me sick where it's like it's really starting to bother you like to a point where it's like this person is just really acting is so nonchalant like they just don't give a fuck but really what this person is out doing is they're trying to break some kind of cycle some kind something that they've been um doing for quite some time this is like the world card they could be like closing out a karmic situation here okay and that's why they're kind of out partying you know trying to create that space between them and a karmic before they come to you there's something here though that they are breaking breaking free from that is going to solidify this connection why and this is why you guys are mirroring each other i feel strong twin flame energy i loved you before i knew you and that's my card of soulmates that's past life energy that's like i loved you before i even met you we've known each other from lifetime to lifetime this connection is strong as fuck and i feel like both of you guys are trying to act like whatever is going on isn't bothering you when deep down it's hurting very very bad yeah because you wanted you want a new beginning with this person and it's kept you up at night for quite some time. I'm telling you, you've been waiting for this person to take action towards you, but they're not. You're overthinking. You're up at night. You're stressing it because you really want, you love this person so much and you want this new beginning with them. Um, they But they could have ghosted you and just like quickly be in and out, you know, fast as fuck. They, you know, here they come and then they're gone again. And it's like, it's starting to be this cycle that you're tired of. You're like tired of going through this same shit over and over. Um, With this Knight of Swords being here, but there is about to be some big changes. Somebody is about to seize the moment when it comes to you, okay? Um, but spirit wants you to go with the flow when it comes to this connection. All right. Um, this person could be doing bad financially. I'm telling you, like not doing well at all. Um, but the, the fact of the matter is, even though this person is putting on a brave face, they're partying, they're acting like they don't, um, you know, like so they're unbothered. You are this person's happiness. You are what will complete this person cancer. And you're about to get some communication and clarity about about this um where you've been confused about what this person wants um they're about to come through you'll get some text messages something like that about how much they love you how much you really do complete them all this emotion that they've been hiding is about to come out and come you know come to the surface so right now you disciplining yourself um is a good thing okay continue to heal that's the sign that you're healing that you're bossing up that you're growing spiritually okay and you know you're about to move from a place that was very hard and in very dark place very depressing place towards something quite beautiful okay um quite quite beautiful them denying how much they love you them denying their feelings for you is about to come to an end this person knows that you deserve better than that and you deserve more cancer and so they're about to stop trying to control the situation they're about to do the right thing when it comes to you okay and they are definitely about to put an end to denying how much they love you know it's like they are about to stop hiding their emotions you got the emperor and the ten of swords the the emperor hides their emotions they're finna stop doing that that literally came over the denial where i was saying that they were denying how much they cared they're about to stop that they're about to show you how much they truly love you uh with empathy it's like because they understand that they were to to clarify empathy we have the star and the fool this is absolutely beautiful okay they understand what they put you through they understand the hurt that they've caused you okay and they see you bossing up they see you getting noticed they have hope okay they really love you. They see a bright future with you. They want to have this solid foundation and they're ready to step out like a fool, take this leap of faith towards you. And they don't care about the consequences. They don't care about what they're leaving behind because you have the emperor and the empress out, out here. And I cannot make this shit up. You guys are twin flames. You guys are both growing spiritually. Um, this person, you know, you're trying to juggle, you know, 
home life, adult life, job, relationships, that's been quite hard for you, but you've done it. You've done quite well keeping yourself balanced through all of this bullshit. You really, really have. And this person knows that you done everything like that you were supposed to when it comes to this person. You planted those seeds. You watered it. You waited for this, this connection to grow. And this person didn't put the equal work in. But here you like this person is definitely finding their strength. They're realizing that you are the only person that can tame this beast. On here, you know, you got this beautiful maiden and she's taming this big lion. And it's like you're the only person that makes this person feel that way, that makes this person want to settle down. Um Ooh, see, and ooh, the sex is off the chain with this person, okay? I mean, magnetically off the chain. And, and sometimes you wonder, like, is this just a sex, is it just because, you know, like, I look good and the sex is great? Is that why this person comes back and forth? Do they just use me because I'm on my shit? But it's not. This person really, really sees you as somebody that they love, somebody that's gorgeous, somebody that lights up a room. And they're letting go of their toxic habits from the past. They're letting go of that because look, they want this happiness. They want this son. They're going to come to you with an apology. They're going to explain the things that they have done. And they're going to tell you that you make them happy. This is where they want to be at is with you. Okay. Let's get some advice closing out for the cancer. I cannot make this shit up. Here's the star again. And I read these cards. Okay. Have faith. The future is bright. Dreams come true. Positive changes that bring an end to challenging times. I literally just said that. The light at the end of the tunnel. Wow. Um, but you are working your ass off right now. Working too hard. Too many hours. You need to balance that out. Um, you're at a point where it's like you're not letting people help you. You're trying to do everything by yourself, Cancer. Stop doing that. Let people help you. Um, because it's going to start causing like, you know, problems to your health, to your mental, your to your physical body. Like, stop doing that, okay? Um... Ask for the divine for help, which is what you are doing. Just trust in the divine, okay? Trust that this is coming together. Um, and it's all about to come together for the best of the both of you, okay? All right, that's what I have for you, Cancer. Um, if that resonated, comment below. Subscribe. Until next time, my loves. Peace.